What's going on everybody? Crazy Dog, back with a very special Browns video for you guys today. As of course the Browns preseason is officially over. Which means it's time to speculate about who is going to make this team. Now, the deadline for the roster cuts is Tuesday afternoon. So essentially teams have until then to cut their rosters down to 53 players. And in this video, I'm going to give you my prediction for what the Browns 53 man roster will look like. So with that being said, let's dive right into it. And the first position I'm going to be looking at is the Browns offensive line. And as you can see, I got the Browns carrying nine offensive linemen into week one of the regular season. You know, pending any trades or whatever, which could happen. You never know. But I have Wills, Betonio, Pochick, or Posick, whatever. <laughs> Teller and Conklin, obviously, are starting five. And then in terms of backups, I have Dunn and Hance, the heroes of that 2020 playoff run. That one game that we had. <laughs> and then uh, Hudson, who has improved big time. And then the always reliable Chris Hubbard who I could honestly see us trading. You never know. Now, if there's any guys who I could easily see, you know, being taken off the roster, like I said, Hubbard, Hans, Dunn. Yeah, I could see those three guys easily getting, you know, switched out for somebody else later on down the line. Now, I was actually thinking about putting undrafted free agent Brock Hoffman on here, but then it's like... I mean, Dunn and Hans can play center in a pinch, but I'm sure they're probably going to go after another center if they need to. I could see us putting, like, Brock Hoffman on the practice squad just as a security blanket in case Posick goes down. Well, let me know what you guys think of uh, my prediction for the offensive line. Now let's flip it to the Browns' defensive line. And as you can see, I uh, separated it into defensive ends and interior D linemen. I have them carrying five D ends, Garrett Clowney, Wright, Rochelle, and Thomas. And then four interior defensive linemen, Brian, Elliott, Winfrey. And I have them signing or trading for an interior D lineman. Of course, some names that come up when it comes to free agents, Sheldon Richardson, and Nadum Kung Su. Now, I don't know who the heck we'd trade for, but I'm sure there's names out there that they have their eye on. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of uh, my predictions for the D-line. Is there anyone that you think uh, could make it? Now, you're probably thinking, Crazy Dog, where the heck is Chase Winovich? Well, believe it or not, I actually, in my opinion, think Rochelle beat him out. Rochelle has been balling like a beast lately. And obviously, Winovich has not gotten on the field. He's been battling an injury. So, uh, yeah, I think that did him in. <laughs> That's tough, but it's the way the NFL is. You know, not for long. You're not guaranteed a spot. Now, of course, people could say, oh, but Andrew Berry doesn't usually, you know, get rid of guys that he acquired via trade. Well, I mean, it's not like we gave up a lot for Winovich. We traded Mac Wilson for him. You know, it's not like we gave up any picks or anything. Just Mac Wilson, as far as I know. Unless they gave up a pick that I didn't know about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think Rochelle beat him out. And then, of course, Isaiah Thomas has been looking really good. Alex Wright looked great in that last game. And, of course, you're not going to get rid of Garrett or Clowney. I mean, really? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Barry would get fired immediately if he get rid of one of those two. <laughs> For real. But yeah, in terms of interior D-line, Taven Bryan was a free agent signing. Didn't really see him much. Uh, Jordan Elliott has been praised by Miles Garrett, and I think he could really have a big year this year if he can stay healthy. Him Winfrey has been an absolute monster. And then, like I said, free agent or trade. So let's move on to one of the positions I think that could be very uh, you know, interchangeable, and that is the wide receiver position. I have us carrying six receivers. Amari, DPJ, obviously. Bell, Schwartz, that's a, that's a big one. A lot of people are uh, kind of on the fence about Schwartz being on this roster. But 
Kevin Stefanski pretty much confirmed last night during his post-game presser that he's not in danger of being cut. So all I'm going to say to Anthony is use the hands. Learn how to use your hands, buddy. The coaches believe in you. Use your hands. Not your body. Use your hands. Use your hands. Hey, God, I hope he can learn to catch the football, man, because he has something that a lot of people have, and that is speed. You know, he has, like, that Tyree Kill level speed. If he can just catch the damn ball, he could be a lethal weapon on this offense. He would be able to take the lid off the defense and really help out guys like Amari and DPJ. But he really hasn't been able to catch the ball consistently. What did he have last night? One catch on six targets? One of, the cat, one of the balls thrown his way was literally right in his hands, and he dropped it. And then, of course, you know, last night he was trying to go on a slant route. Brissett was throwing him the ball, and this dude ran into the defender, fell over. Led to an interception. Can't even make that up. My goodness. And then, uh, of course, I have Woods, who is currently hurt. And then, like I've said time and time again... I do think the Browns will either sign a free agent receiver or trade for one. Uh, one name that popular is very popular when it comes to a trade target is Darius Slayton. Or Denzel Mims. Yep, I could see one of those two guys uh, being a Brown by week one. We'll see what Andrew Barry comes up with, though. Now let's talk about the Browns linebackers. And I have the Browns carrying five linebackers. JOK, obviously. Anthony Walker Jr., who is essentially our captain on defense. Uh, Taki Taki, who has looked good. Jo uh, Jacob Phillips. I said Jordan Phillips. <laughs> nope, Jacob. He's looked decent. And Tony Fields. Now, in my opinion, Tony Fields is one of those guys that makes the initial roster, but he probably gets sent packing when the Browns go through waiver claims and they probably pick up some guys. I could see Tony Fields being one of the unlucky fellas who uh, has to clean up his locker after uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever. You know, unfortunately. It's the way it is, though. Now, um, on to tight ends. I have the Browns uh, carrying, well, three or four. I put four, but it could easily be three. Uh, Njoku, Bryant, obviously. Uh, Forrestal, that's an interesting one. It could be also like one of the hyphenated names. And then uh, I actually think that they could uh, trade or sign a tight end. Maybe instead of Forrestal, maybe they go free agent or trade. It'll be interesting to see what we do there. And also, you got Johnny Stanton, too. I'm going to talk about him in a little bit, though. Now, we go to the secondary. And... Uh, I have us carrying nine total in the secondary, five corners, and four safeties. Again, that could change, you know, depending on what we do uh, in waiver claims. But corners, I have Ward, Newsom, duh, Emerson Jr., who looked really good at times, AJ Green, who has been one of our better corners, and Greedy Williams. Now, much like Tony Fields, I think Greedy is low-key on the bubble. And he could be let go if we uh, go through waivers and maybe, you know, claim a receipt of somebody. Not necessarily a corner, but somebody. And I, could, I think uh, Greedy could be let go because he has not looked good at all. Between him getting sunned during the joint practices and him getting absolutely cooked by Dante Pettis last night. Yeah, buddy, you're on the bubble. <laughs> and that might be popping soon. Now, as for safeties, obviously Delpit, who uh, did get hurt last night, but uh, Kevin Stefanski actually said that if that was a regular season game, Delpit would have come back into the game, but it's preseason, so not worth it. Uh, John Johnson the third, Arnie Harrison, and DeAnthony Bell. I have had a lot of praise for him. He has looked great. I think he makes the roster. Bar none. I think he even weathers that uh, wa the waiver storm, too. He gets through that period. Be on the 53 for week one, I think, in my opinion. Because he, he's been really good. Now let's talk about the Browns running backs. 
And I have them technically carrying five, but as you see by the asterisk, I have Stanton as a running back, but he could also be a tight end. I put him more of a running back. So Chubb, Hunt, Ford, Felton are the main four. Stanton will be like a pseudo hybrid type playing all over the place. Good stuff. I know a lot of people thought we were going to trade Hunt, but as you see, I do not have Dearness Johnson on there because I think we're going to trade him instead. I mean, they played him a lot last night, so they're showcasing him. And it'll be interesting to see if maybe someone really uh, wants to take a chance on him because he's pretty good. Yep. I really think he could ball on a different team. He's just not going to get carries here. It's the way it is. You're not going to get a lot of carries behind Chubb and Hunt. And then Jerome Ford came out here, and he has been, he was looking great. He had, like, limited snaps last night from what I saw, if he had any snaps at all. I mean, they didn't have him at all on offense. If he did get any snaps, it was on special teams. But, yeah, Felton didn't really see him too much. That should tell you all you need to know. I think he's pretty much safe as a gadget player. And then we talk about the quarterbacks. Now, as you see... I have Watson. Technically, he's suspended. Uh, so, technically, there's four, I guess. But for right now, it'd be three. You have Brissett, Dobbs, and a free agent trade. I don't know if they keep Rosen. That's why I didn't put him on there. I don't think they keep Rosen. They might. But if they don't, I could see them, like, signing a guy to be the number three. Or maybe they trade for Jimmy G. You never know, right? But uh, let me know what you think about this decision here. And then, finally, wrapping it all up, I have the Brown special teams. I have three guys, of course. Place kicker, Cade York. Punter, Bjorquez. And the long snapper, Charlie Hewlett. So the final total, 53 players. So, um, let me know what you guys think. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that are going to have a lot to say in the comments down below. And, uh, man... Tuesday is going to be interesting because we're going to find some guys that I thought was going to make it get cut. You know, wouldn't surprise me if we made some trades and stuff, too. So what we did a couple years ago when we acquired Wyatt Teller from the Bills. People were like, what is this trade? And now it's like, wow, we low-key robbed the Bills because Wyatt Teller is that dude. I freaking love that pick, that trade, man. So we'll see what these guys cook up for us uh, between now and Tuesday. We might even get some moves uh, later today, possibly. Who knows? Now, uh, some other news. Uh, earlier today, it was announced that Chris Odom tore his ACL. So I didn't know if he was going to make the roster anyway. But now he is definitely not making it as this season is over. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, if they make any trades or whatever that are, you know, noteworthy, I will definitely make a video on it. And then once the 53-man roster comes out, I'll do another video going over the 53-man roster, the initial one. And then once we make any waiver claims, I'll go over the players that we claimed. And then once it comes out, who we cut, I'll talk about who we cut. And then we'll go over the practice squads too and stuff. So uh, got a lot of videos coming out this week, so hope you guys are ready. But uh, I suggest you guys hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, and also, if you want to, become a member. You get exclusive perks. So, good stuff. But yeah, man, be prepared. There's going to be a lot of stuff coming out over the next couple of days regarding the Browns. So with that being said, I'm Crazy Dog. Let's go Browns. And I'm out. See you guys later today for Guardians and Mariners. Should be a good one. Bye-bye.